Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Animate Orange where I bring you a lot of Metal Earth model builds and other 3D metal models. Today I'm doing a what I call a revisit to one of the first builds I did, I think it was number 3 or 4, it is the AT AT. And this is my second attempt at that model and this one come together quite a bit better. I've been wanting to redo that old video because, well, it was one of my first the camera I had wasn't as good, my editing skills weren't as good, my thought process wasn't as laid out. So I wanted to bring and have wanted to redo some of those old videos with better close-ups, better description of how to do things so that you can have a better idea of what I did and also better tools because I didn't hardly have any tools the first time I built this. This one was a lot easier. So stay tuned, let's open this up show you how I built it and hopefully give you a better description than before. You'll notice this is not a standard Metal Earth packaging because this is a copy. I have gone with a copy in part out of curiosity and part out of expense. But inside we have, although a slightly different color, the same two metal sheets you would find in a Metal Earth model. And essentially the same directions. It looks a little different. It's got some Japanese or Chinese characters on it. Chinese characters most likely. And maybe a little bit tough to read, but the assembly is the same as you would find in a Metal Earth model. Now, the big reason to doing this is because I have built this before, but that video is not very good. And I want to do a more detailed video of the steps with better tips of doing it, doing it with honestly a lesser expensive model because it is the same steps but I'm also curious a little bit about the differences anyway we have our two metal sheets here which are the same as the actual metal earth model and we have the assembly flow chart with the line drawing and the metal sheet as you would usually find and this is we'll need a translator and if you have a, a smartphone, you can get a Google Translate. Basically talking about the insertion tabs, insertion holes, and fault lines, just like Metal Earth would be. You know, those pliers are helpful for assembly. You have your, what would be the blue circle, but this is black and white. Circle means to insert and fold the tab over. Green triangle means to insert and twist a tab, just like a Metal Earth model. And your line drawing of the two sheets, and we'll just... Grab one as an example, which one do I have? Here we go. Have this sheet shows you all the different parts. The numbers point to the part so you know which part is which number. So when you see it in the assembly flow chart, find it, clip it out, fold it, and put it together. And then over here we have the start of the assembly flow chart, starting with part one, two, and three. And one folds up, goes on to the front of three, as it folds up, two goes on the side, four goes on this side. Slide over here, we add on number five, slide over here, and that just shows you the completed model. Slide over here, we add on part six for the neck. And then down to the next section, eight and seven, don't know why those are backwards, seven, eight, yeah, whatever. And you just follow the arrows, adding the parts on as you see them. You get to at a halfway point. This is folded in half. You go down to the bottom half to this quarter and pick up. As you see here, we've left off with 13. Pick up with 14, 15. And then we have 11 jumping back. Sometimes that happens. 16. And just follow the arrow around down here. Follow the arrow around, adding parts down here. And then, once we're at the bottom of this quarter, we go to the final quarter here and just finish the last few bits. And once we get down to here, we are done and finished with our model. Let's take a moment to talk about the tools that I use. This is my standard set that I use in most every build. I have long needle nose pliers and flat nose pliers, useful for a variety of different things. I have flush clippers that I use to cut the parts off the trees. It makes it quick and easy. And then I have some precision tweezers, 
one with a very pointed end, one that's had the pointed end ground down slightly, and one with a flat, sort of curved end, great for getting into curved areas. And then I have a standard set of tweezers with an angled tip. These come in one of the Iconics models, and I love them and use them a lot. When it comes to shape and rounded parts, there are many options. I used dowel rods for a long time. I sharpened the ends of two of them with a pencil sharpener. These two are great for making cone shapes. Another option is a cheap drill bit set. This set has quite a few different sizes to choose from. Another option is a set of step mandrels. We've gone over the, the instructions. While they look a little different from Metal Earth, they are the same steps. We've got our two metal sheets. Talked a little bit about tools. Got our basics to get us started. Let's build another at at Walker. I think it's best if you bend over the tabs holding on parts 2 and 4. The twisted tabs can get in the way of part 7 fitting well. Because these curved knee parts are so short, I just use the tweezers to carefully shape them. It's not really worth the trouble to try and hold a drill bit or a dowel rod in place just to curve them a little bit. The drill bits were not the perfect size for curving part 11, but it got the shape close enough to wiggle things into place.
In this video, I cut out some parts where I tried numerous times to get a part to fit or had to make multiple adjustments to something to allow it to fit. I try to show a little bit of everything, but sometimes you may see in a video that I make one or two adjustments, when in reality, I made many more. I do that to move the build along. These builds take time. Be patient, take your time, and be prepared to make numerous test fits and adjustments during this or any build. Forming the feet is pretty simple and repetitive. It helps if you have an approximate size object such as a drill bit or pin to bend the round parts of the feet around. When adding in part 27, make sure you align the shortened cutouts with the short ends of the rectangle engraved on part 28.
I elected to start with the front flaps, fold them down and secure them first, then the back flaps, folding down and securing them before moving to the center section and flaps. I do not believe it is necessary to twist or bend over the tabs halfway down the sides, connecting the middle pieces to the, to the back and front pieces. As long as you bend over and, and secure the bottom tabs holding it to the leg assembly and the other tabs are in their slots, it should be okay. And there you go, the AT-AT -AT, all built and complete. Now this is an exact copy of the Metal Earth model. It is not a Metal Earth model, it is a copycat, but the purpose of this video was mainly to go over those steps again and make a better video. So whether you're building the exact Metal Earth model, which I personally recommend, it is a better quality model, or if you have one of the knockoffs to save some money, the steps are gonna be the same and overall, it's going to be the same. The only difference is if you've got a knockoff, be a little bit more careful with making sure you don't bend it any more than you have to because some of those metals will break even easier than metal earth. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to leave them down below. If you like these build videos, you want to see me continue to make them, consider contributing to my Patreon. I have a link at the end of this video and in the description down below. Thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.